welcome back. It's June, which means it's time to do June makes, plans and things. It is a fundamentally beautiful day in London today, or has been. It's eight o'clock now in the evening, which is why this plant is beautifully illuminated, but I am in the shade. <laughs> um, the first one I need to make in the next couple of days because my friend Mary, who I credit with getting me back into sewing, thank you Mary, um, is having a baby very soon uh, and I'm seeing her on Thursday. So um, I've bought um, I've bought some wadding but I've got loads of scrap fabric from multiple projects which is brilliant so I'm going to use all of that up to make her a lovely blanket. I think it would be the most coordinated thing in the world but it'll be full of love. Um, and then I bought some fabric for the backing so this is the fabric I bought for the backing. Um, which is a rather lovely sort of quilting cotton and the little things on it look like people or owls or something, depending on what you look. They're not actually, they're abstract fountain. I think it might actually be an ice cream sundae and balloons. Yeah, looking at it, that's what it is. Ice cream sundae and balloons. This being a thing, ice cream in the top, balloons. Um, but I thought it would work for a girl or a boy because I've temporarily forgotten what she said she was having. Um, but that will be the back. Um, and I'll make her a quilt in the next couple of days and um, then I'll put this up once I've given it to her so she doesn't get the surprise ruined. Um, but Mary, quilt coming your way. So that's the first thing. Baby blanket backing, which I think's gorgeous. I love quilting cotton. What's not to love? I mean, that makes you happy. Uh, so that's one. Two um, is, uh, actually I need to move my stash around because Sorry, I'm getting in the sunshine, so light might have gone all crazy. Um, so two is this, which is, um, I've conveniently pinned it to a piece of cardboard. When I was being super organised, organising all of my fabric, I wrapped it all around cardboard so that it didn't go everywhere. And of course, now I'm going to have to undo it to show you. But this is essentially exactly the same fabric to the red that I made my dress out of, because I'm a glutton for punishment. So this is luxury crepe that I bought in Walthamstow in this lovely sort of warm peachy pinky kind of colour which is lovely and I should I would see if I put it in the light covered in glitter so this is gonna have to go in the wash again but it's identical to the red other than the colour um, and my plan for this is to try and make um, two things if I have enough I should have enough because it's very wide and I think I've walked two and a half metres um, I want to make a crop top with sleeves and I want to make a half circle skirt and I want to make them so that I could wear them together as a sort of combo um, so I want the top long enough to cover the waistband of the skirt so you don't get any unpleasant midriff appearing um, but that I could wear them separately because I need some more crop tops for various things that I already own um, and I thought that this would be a really nice um, weight for that so that's the plan with this one and then I bought this amazing lining when I was there <laughs> which I love, and the pink in it picks up the pink. Uh, so I'm gonna line it with this. This is just polyester, they're both polyester. So might not be the best thing for summer, but I think I'll um, wear it on those slightly cooler days. <laughs> we seem to be getting a lot of at the moment, so that's fine. Today is a very much the exception to the rule on the weather front. Um, so that's three things already. <laughs> oh, biting off more than I can chew. And the next thing that I want to make um, is with this lovely fabric, which I bought ages ago. I bought this um, in October 2015 at the Knitting and Stitching Show, the autumn one, and I've not done anything with it yet, which is unusual for me. Normally things don't stay around in my stash for that long. To be honest, I don't really have a stash. Um, I make things, I buy the fabric, I make it, and then I have remnants, if that. But this is the fabric that I bought. Mm. Um, it's amazing. This is Birch Organics uh, Knit Cotton Jersey pretty much. Um, but it's not, it's quite thick, it's not too stretchy, um, and it's got this gorgeous pattern of little wheels and birds, and it's in lovely colours, and it's generally marvellous. Um, and I bought a metre and a half of it, and I've not really known what to do with it. I have my Agnes top, which features in one of my other videos, I think the first one I did, possibly, which has feathers on it, um, it's white and it's got feathers on it is the same, is also Birch Organics and I bought it at the same time. But I don't want to make another Agnes. Um, so what I decided I would do is make a jersey jacket. Um, I need some more jackets, I don't have many. And I've not made one before. So I just went to the Stitching Fabric Marvellous Palace in Tooting. If you're in South London and you've not been and you sew, you're missing out. 
Uh, it's right by Tooting Beck Station. It was my local for years uh, until I moved slightly further south. Um, and I went today because I was meeting my sister for a drink, so I got to go and pop in on the way. <laughs> it's slightly early. Um, and I got this pattern, which is the McCall's M6844. And this is a jacket pattern, as you can see, designed for knit fabric. Um, and it's got a shawl collar, it's very simple, and the construction is very straightforward. So I'm gonna make a toile first, probably, because I've got some green stretch fabric that I don't know what I'm gonna do with, and actually that, it's gonna to be too warm for summer, but if, I, if it works, then it will be perfect as another version of this jacket. Um, and it's got four versions, and essentially there is, there's two designs, but in two lengths. So it's got a shawl collar, and it's very simple, and there's one at kind of just below waist length, and there's one that probably comes to mid-thigh-ish. And there's another one where the jacket is shorter, but they've attached a peplum to it. I'd love to do the peplum because I'm a real fan of peplum jackets. I love them and they're very good for my figure because I've got very broad shoulders and quite flat shoulders. So it's good to have something to balance out, some width of the hip to balance that out because I'm quite triangular. I've got quite narrow hips and quite wide shoulders. Um, so if this will work with this fabric, which it should, I need to check the stretch allowance on it um, in a second. But if it works, then that's what I'm going to make with this. Um, yeah. So I'm excited about that, because I've not made a jacket before. It's very simple, it doesn't require shoulder pads or fastenings or anything. Basically just all, there's no, it, it doesn't meet at the front, it's an open fronted jacket. So really super simple. Um, so hopefully I'm starting in a good place. One, two, three, that's already four, but I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'm gonna do another one. Um, and this last one is, um, I'm not quite sure I'm gonna make with this yet, but it's a fabric that I bought, um, at Walthamstow, again, when I went to Walthamstow Market. And, um, which again, I have wrapped around a nice piece of cardboard due to my amazing organisational skills, which is this. I mean, it's the sort of thing that you can imagine seeing a chair covered in. <laughs> but I think this, in a dress, will look amazing. Uh, and I don't care if you disagree with me. So this is gold, obviously it's gold, my favourite, um, with this lovely sort of leaf pattern on it and in the sunlight, hopefully you can see it. I'm slightly getting blinded at the moment, but I don't care because you hopefully you can see the fabric. There's no stretch in this at all. I mean, you know, maybe like a teeny weeny bit, but only because of the weave rather than because it's got any spandex or anything in it. Um, so this is going to become something else. I don't know what yet. I have a couple of ideas. So... I won't give it away yet. I'll see one whether I get round to it because that's a lot of stuff to make in a month. Um, and if not, then I'll save it for July. Um, but I will show you the outcome when and if I do make something out of it. Um, but I wanted to show you the fabric anyway because it's so pretty. Uh, yeah. So yes, that's the, so that's the final one. So we've got this, 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 <laughs> oh, this could this could not work. There might be a reason people don't do this at the end of the videos. This and this going on. So a bit more interesting than last month. We've thrown some pattern in, which is far more like me. I do like my patterns fabric. Um, and I'm hoping I can get all of this done. If not, it doesn't matter. But that's what I'm going to attempt to do. The blanket I really do need to do because I need to give it to her in two days. Um, so I'll record that probably a bit earlier than all of the other makes. Yeah. Uh, and I will see you at the end of the month with um, whatever has become of these five uh, lovely fabrics. Um, and I'll see you then. Uh, so enjoy June. I will see you soon. Bye.